give you some light on it. <laughs> <laughs> Razavan Fight Hype at home with me. I've got Johnny Nelson, aka the sharpest nice. dressed man in the room right now. <laughs> Look at him, blue and white. Damn, Johnny, looking good. Like that. You know what? What a nice there was today. Press from all over the world, Rocco. This place was ramp uh, Both Both fighters brought their crews with them, brought their squads with them. This is a serious situation to deal with. The more I see as a week this fight this week rolls on, the more I'm thinking, how can I actually pull this off? Before I thought he, you know, some people thought he had no chance. I thought he had a slim chance. That slim's getting a bit fatter now. Uh, I saw Golovkin, he looked dropped today, which surprised me. Today, 24 hours before the weigh-in. I'd expect it in the morning of the way. You, 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 you flush yourself out, you get ready to get, to get on the scales. 24 hours before. His head looked half the size it was yesterday. You know, he looked like he had my suit on. I thought, there's something right there. I'm here whispering this man is probably not Training, training, training camp as serious um, uh, or as, as being in a, a training camp as long as what he normally is. Maybe because he's underestimating Cal Tinkin, this kid's just a walk away. You know, no matter what what, um, what what jewelry he's got, world champion. I just got a feeling he thinks this is a lot easier fight than he's making out to the general public. I've got a feeling that he thinks he's walking apart. When I'm hearing this man thinking he's going to knock him out in the first round, mm, I'm thinking, all right, that's good. How Cal is people say he was nervous. I didn't think he was nervous. I thought it was good nerves. He's not one of those fighters that mistakes nerves for fear. Yeah. Nerves are good in this situation. You're going to be nervous with a guy like Golovkin. He makes your box to the best of your ability. So I'm just happy with everything I've seen. Uh, uh, no matter what happens, when I lose to Kel Brook, what's important is this guy is now in a position where he feels comfortable he's going to box to the best of his ability. Uh, and then it's in the lock of the world. And God, he's got to just do his job and get on with his job. Triple G's been so vocal about, I, I'm a 160 fighter. He wants to fight everybody at 160. Canelo doesn't want to fight my 160. So when you say he looks drained, why would he look drained at his natural weight? That's what I'm saying, and that's why that's what's the I thought, wow, if you put, get a picture of his face yesterday, uh, 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 in Common God, and get a picture of his face today, he'd, he'd just, he's drawn. And I thought, to me, I thought, I'd expect that on the day of the win, which tells me this, because I think naturally he's a light middleweight, that's what I think he is naturally. So we, it tells me that if he's doing that now, the 24 hours before the weigh-in, it tells me he hasn't prepped right for this fight. That's what it tells me, because I cannot understand any reason why his face is from that to that. I don't get it, 24 hours before the weigh-in, I don't get it.